Martian crust. Oh. And reduce our launch weight as much as possible. Okay, it's ready. Smush it on there. Okay, but you have so let me move it. Are you guys okay? So I'm going to put an arrow on mine so I know which way is up. Oh, that's my high five. High five, Sean. Make it up. Uh, everyone you ever meet who's exploring Pluto right now got a lifelong passion for science before he or she was 10 years old. I guarantee you, it's before you were 10. And that's probably when you get a lifelong passion for anything, be it science or art. And so uh, this is why we want to engage young people. This is the future of, future of the U.S., but it's the future of the world. I mean, Canada, future of the world. So uh, it's, it's really fun for me to be involved. I mean, I'm Professor Rubicon. I'm full of information, and I'm a little uh, absent-minded. It's, it's a real stretch for me. <clears throat> Science and space exploration were just in the culture. They were just there all the time. You didn't have to work especially hard to celebrate it. But uh, we don't have that situation now, so we, this Miles from Tomorrowland is part of that. And this is when you get people before they're 10 years old, you, you're going to change the world. And I remind everybody, this is not something that pays back the same afternoon or next year. This is a 20 or 30 year investment in the future, getting young people excited about science, technology, engineering, art, and math. It's so important to inspire youngsters uh, to imagine what's possible and to get excited about math, science, technology. You know, we need, we need youngsters to grow up and put their energy towards innovations of the future so that we can be a better society and we can usher in a new era of technology and civilization. But it's such an important show, not only because it's, it's a lot of fun for kids, but also it helps to cultivate a, an, an excitement for science and, and, and technology and, and, and just dare to imagine what's possible. In this day and age, too many people are, especially young people, are so focused, you know, on their phones and down. Sometimes we got to put our phones down and look up and remember that we're part of this enormous galaxy full of possibility. 
I was so lucky to have my mother, who is a scientist. She's a neonatal nurse practitioner. She has so much education in biology and all of these. Uh, she actually teaches now. Um, so I had her, and then I loved watching Mr. Wizard. And that's where I think a show like Miles from Tomorrowland comes into play. If you have strong characters, female especially, you're going to look at that and say, hey, I can do that. I hope kids and families today walk away with um, more inspiration, more encouragement, and they feel like they not only learn something, but know that they can learn and have a great time at the same time. Well, we're going to be kicking off a XPRIZE Disney Junior Miles from Tomorrowland project, which is, I th hopefully, I think, and I think I'm, I'm positive, I'm positive that it's going to inspire a bunch of kids. Uh, to get uh, to learn about science, learn about the space program. I think what's really cool about it too is it's not just for the kids; it's for their parents. So it's families working together. When I was uh, when I was a kid, I got to watch Neil Armstrong walk on the moon, and, and that inspired me. And I hope that some of these kind of positive, some of these kids will be <clears throat> inspired the same way. Maybe to one day grow up and be astronauts or get involved with science, or maybe not. But at the same time, I think it's a it's a great way for them to learn about it. The reason that I wanted to be here today, and I think it's so important, is that space is, is available to everybody. But when we talk about STEAM, science, technology, engineering, and math, well, it's more than a conversation. It's participation. And when you team STEAM with hands-on, first-hand, upfront participation, now you've got adventures and learning that have come alive. This kind of solution can serve as a tool for children of all ages, all over the world, in the classroom and out, on the planet and off, to all come together and have an opportunity to not just change the game, but change lives. When I was a kid, I was not that great at science, I have to be honest. I was really into it, but I didn't do that well at school. And to me, the arts, for me, the arts was an entry point into science. And Getting to tell the stories of Miles and his family was a way for me to learn more about science and to explore technology and technological advancements. And I hope that Miles inspires kids who might not think of themselves as science-y or science kids to really look further because there's so much in science for everyone. We know that there's going to be a great need for scientists and engineers and people in the tech fields. And the best way to make sure that we have people who can handle those challenges in the future is to excite them when they're young kids, which is exactly what we think Miles from Tomorrowland does.